international freight corridors? What perspectives for railways? Today, trade in goods is increasingly globalized. Already now, half a million TEUs, or standard containers, could be transported between Europe and Asia if certain conditions, among them harmonization, reliability, flexibility, speed, were met. Railways are currently building credible alternatives for high-performance rail transport at the continental and intercontinental level. Rail freight corridors linking Far East to Europe are in development and being tested. Among them, the routes along the Trans-Siberian, or New Silk Roads, more on the south. Studies show that if these corridors are still a niche business, they offer real potential for growth in the future. Container transport by rail is very promising. It enables transport over long distances in half the time compared to transport by sea and at a competitive price. Efforts are currently made by international, regional and sub-regional organisations, including UIC, to develop transit corridors, to facilitate cross-border transport and to enhance regional connectivity. One challenge and key to further development is the connection of intercontinental corridors with trans-European corridors. The corridor product is a guarantee of quality for the client and has to reflect the railway approach, which aims at providing a quality product corresponding to its needs. With the objective to develop rail freight on international corridors, UIC has established a structure project at the European level named ECHO, as well as a permanent structure, the Global Team of Experts Members Group, the GTE, gathering rail and actors of the rail freight transport chain. It serves as a platform for exchange among all. It initiates and steers projects, creating the right framework conditions for developing long-distance rail traffic. For UIC and its members, the railway future is also along the freight corridors.